Rescue Helicopter 90. This is St. David Mobile in position now. Have you visual, over? St. David Mobile, Rescue 90. We have your visual. We'd located the survivor underneath an overhang just above water level. It is half past five underneath the tail. Can't see him in our present common position though with the overhang in the way and the wind so strong that we can't move the aircraft. I request you illuminate the area with your searchlight, over. This is St. David Mobile. Roger, switching on now, over. OK, Ted, carry on conning us backwards. We can't see a thing from the front. Your directions, please. Roger, man. Please to Zulu Safe Heights. The terrorists are moving to the survivor back 15. Back 10. The tail is clear. Height is good. Back 8. The tail is clear. Back 6. Back five, speed is good. Back four, slight swing on. Tail clear, back three. The height is good, the tail is clear. Stay there! Don't move! I'll come to you, just stay there! Slight swing, so back one. Height is good, the tail clear. Steady. He's off. Steady. Tail is clear. Steady. He's on. And off again. Steady with a problem. Steady. 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 Swinging in. Steady. He's on. Steady. Steady. Slack wire. Must be on quite well this time. Steady. The tail is clear. Height is good. Steady. 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 The tail is clear. Height is good. Steady. Ready for lift, Ted. Bob's ready to recover. Steady, the tail is clear, your height is good. Steady, taking in the slack now. Steady, pushing in. They're clear of the cliff, you're clear forward. Straight out the sea, to stop the swinging into the cliff again. Quite a swing on. Keep moving forward. And you clear forward and down, pushing in. You're well clear of the cliff now. Approaching the door, your height is 50 feet, Matt. At the door, coming on board. Uh, both on board, safety on board. You'll clear above and behind, up and away. Roger, right, Ted. David Mobile is Rescue 90. We have the survivor on board. Thank you for your assistance. Over. This is St. David's Mobile. You're welcome. Good night, out. But that's my question. Was there a better way? Look. This is a cliff. And the sea out here. Now our survivor got caught off by the tide here. Started to walk up. Got trapped under the overhang, just there. We came along from this direction and hovered out here. No choice, Matt. We had to keep pointing into wind. Correct. It was quite the wrong configuration, down near tail on to the survivor, but we were stuck with it. But did we have to hover so far out? And did we have to swing Bob in like I we did? Couldn't have cliff walked down that if that's what you mean, because of the overhang. And it could have snagged the wire. There were some nasty places down there. Well, so we might have been able to cliff walk Bob down here or here and then traverse him along. Good point. Yeah, but that could have meant circling around again to come to a hover over the cliff, and I don't know if the survivor could have hung on that long. Well, he, he looked pretty knackered to me. Still, I think Jules might have a point. Circling around would only have taken a few seconds and might have saved time in the end. Look, the only proper way is to look at it in daylight. Training sortie tomorrow afternoon, right? I'll get the MRT to put on a mock survivor. The Metman says the southwesterly wind should hold, so we'll have the same conditions.
Sierra 2, this is the Sierra 1. Is everything okay down there, over? Sierra 2, in position. It's drafty down here, over. This is Sierra 1. Stop whinging and give us the road back. Remember, you're supposed to be stranded, over. This is Sierra 2, rope free. Blimey, it's cold down here, Corp, over. This is Sierra 1. If you can't take a joke, you shouldn't have joined. Anyway, you won't be there long. I can hear them coming now. Out. Coming up to the area now, Ted. It's in our 12 o'clock. I'll circle inland and come to a hover at the top of the cliffs. Uh, Roger. Rob, will you make contact with the mountain rescue? Roger. Sierra Control, Sierra Control, seeking 601, ready, over. 601, this is Sierra Control, read you loud and clear, over. Ah, Sierra Control, you're loud and clear, so approaching your location this time, is everything ready, over. 601, this is Sierra Control, affirmative, all set, is survivor ready for pickup, over. You know exactly what we want, so our survivor should be positioned directly below us now. I'll move out to sea and come to a low hover, Ted, so you can see under the overhang. Let me know when you have contact. We are safe single engine, and it's your height control. Steady, your height is good. I have visual contact with the survivor. Uh, right, Ted. I think there's a possible cliff walk, a few feet to the right of the overhang. Uh, Roger, I can see it. I suggest uh, from here we go up and around, uh, come to a hover just left of the cliff, we'll then move right to put Bob out at a safe height, and then he'll be moving into the cliff uh, to make contact. Uh, anyway, is that all right with you, Bob? OK, Barney, just watch the overhang, Ted. Fine. Uh, any problems, Matt? Negative. OK, suggest we recover as we did before, then. Forward out to sea, so it'll be a swing away from the cliff. Roger, Ted. Jules, select the undercarriage as necessary. You're going down. Three winching checks, please. Okay. Most awesome crew, T's and P's are good, the captures are clear, fuel's feeding from the back, the content's sufficient, the gear is down, two greens, the deck is to lock. Roger, your checks are complete, I've got a winchman, a long lead, a strop, a grab it, a static discharger on the hook for a cliff situation. Roger, turning on now. Roger, turning on. Target area sighted. Okay, I can just uh, come to the hover five units short of the cliff edge, Matt. Roger. Okay, in the hover now, your directions, please. And moving to the cliff top to the right turn and back. Steady. 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 Going on, intercom. Watching out. Which is over the side. Uh, which was at the same height, moving to the cliff edge, left, three and back. Two and back. Tail clear. One and back. Steady. Makes the cliff walk. Steady. Steady. Tail's clear. Steady. Forward one and left one. Steady. 601, this is Broadway Rescue, over. 601, go. 601, we have a mayday from the Coast Guard, a ship in distress. Are you ready to copy, over? Matt, we've got a job. 601, changing call sign now to rescue 90. Roger, rescue 90. This is Sierra 1. Sorry, but that's what the man said. Don't go away, over. This is Sierra 2. Bloody hell, I'm frozen here, over. This is Sierra 1. Tell you what, if you promise you'll stop whinging, you can wait at the top with us. 
Now there's the Coast Guard uh, Rescue 90. We are right now on route for the casualty, estimating his position in two five minutes. Request any further information over. Rescue 90, Milford Haven Coast Guard. Vessel is called the Kinterbury. 1,100 tons, 18 crew. Mixed cargo of toxic and flammable chemicals. Fire and explosions in engine room. Vessel able to maintain a steerage way. Tug and two other vessels proceeding. Nearest vessel one and a half hours away. We're not holding it. It's spreading towards the outer hold. I see. Do you reckon you need any more men down there? No point. There isn't room for them. Carry on doing your best, Les. I'll get a raft away for the rest of the crew, OK? Now, <laughs> Jules, my contact is now at 15 miles and a half past 12. I think it's that casualty. Roger, Ted, see if you can raise them on channel 16. Okay, stand by. Uh, Kinterbury, Kinterbury, this is Rescue Helicopter 90 on channel 16, over. Rescue 90, this is Kinterbury. You are loud and clear. Over. Now, this is 90, Roger, you're loud and clear. We estimate your position in the seventh minute, so request any further information, over. Rescue 90. I'm just getting ten men away on a life raft. The rest are fighting the fire. But we're losing. It's already reached the after hole. And we've got toxic and explosive chemicals on board. I don't think we've much time. Over. Uh, Roger, can we, uh, Are there any chemicals burning now? Affirmative. Some toxic stuff. Mind how you approach. There are some very dangerous fumes. Uh, Roger, do you have any issues on board? No time for a proper check, but negative as far as I know. No casualties, but the fumes are getting worse. It's becoming more and more difficult to breathe. I have you visual, 9-0. The fire is now very close to explosive cargo. Uh, Roger, Canterbury. Uh, are you going to abandon ship, Captain Over? No can do, 9-0. We've just found our other rafts are unserviceable. The explosion must have damaged them. It's jammed the workboat in the davits, too. So I'll need your assistance for all further rescue. Over. Uh, Canterbury from 9-0, uh, Roger. Best hurry, though. We could go up any moment. Uh, right, sir, Roger. Uh, let's, uh, the skipper reckon that she could go up any minute. OK for me to go back to the door? Go up there. Roger. I'll take all the radios. There's the life raft. It's well clear. We'll drop another raft by the ship, Ted. Uh, Roger. Rescue 9-0, we're dropping another raft. Roger, 9-0. I'll get everyone over the side. Mind you, stay clear of our smoke. It is deadly. Uh, Roger, we'll hover alongside upwind. You maintain your heading into wind so that the smoke blows astern, over. Roger, will do. Roger, we'll pick all the crew up from the life raft. Right, 
steady, clear of the water. Steady, steady. Coming on board. Roger, Ted, we'll go for the life raft now. No, correction, the master is still on board. Can you give him a call, Jules? Okay. Good debris, this is rescue 9-0. Can you abandon immediately? Negative 9-0. I've counted a man short. I've found him below. Broken leg, I think, and a head injury. Cannot possibly bring him up on my own. Good debris, Roger. Wait one. Matt, they've got an injured man below deck. Ted, is Bob happy to go down with a stretcher on the deck? I expect so, I'll just check, Pamela. OK, Bob's quite happy. OK. Uh, good to be rescue 9 zero. We will send down our winchman onto the forward hatch cover with a stretcher to assist, over. Negative 9 zero. The fire has got into the hole there. The hatch cover could blow at any moment. You'll have to land him on the forecastle. Rescue 9 zero, roger. Matt, uh, the captain suggests we use the uh, Foxhole, the forward hatch cover has got uh, fire underneath it. It's unsafe. Fine. What about the Foxhole rigging? Uh, it looks a bit of a bit, but I expect you hack it, OK? OK, Ted. Your directions, please. Oh, Roger, they're winching out. Uh, Bob's over the side. On his way. As you clear the climb. Dead ahead, six. Forward, five. Forward, four. Forward, three. Forward, two. Forward one. Steady. 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 Which one's on the deck? Steady. Off the hook. Switch again. Clear of the deck. Clear from left and forward. Down here. Zero, Milford Coast Guard, over. The rescue 9 zero, Citrip. All the survivors are in rafts away from the boat, except the master and one injured man. Our winchman is below decks with a stretcher, assisting the master with the injured man. The fire is reported to be completely out of control. And when we have all the survivors on board, where would you like us to take them, over? Rescue 9 zero, Milford Haven Coast Guard, Withybush Hospital, Haverford West, we will arrange hospital reception party. Over. Now rescue 9 zero. Thank you. Out. Easy does it. Forward one. Height is good. Steady. Steady. Now he's going to set the master up first. Steady. Master's in the shop. Steady. Rescue 
Rescue 90, over. Rescue 90, over. Now, Rescue 90, all personnel are now off the ship. We're going in to pick up the remaining survivors from the rafts, over. Rescue 90, Melbourne Coast Guard, Roger. And... Ted, we'll go for the rafts now. Roger, but so we'll have to be quick, though. These two blokes need hospital uh, quite badly, and it looks like there's both weather coming. Mind your leg. Hope then. I could just do with a good, strong coat. 601, this is Broadway Rescue, over. 601, go. 601, message from the Mountain Rescue Team. Corporal Bennett's compliments. Will you be going back to rescue their bloke off the cliff, or can they take him home now? Over. Heck, we've forgotten about him. Speak for yourself. That Wesley is holding nicely. Morning Rescue, 601. Tell the corporal we're on our way. Sorry about that, son. We've been a bit busy, see?